This video is sort of about a math approach called Fourier series, but it's mostly about being careful about how you interpret what people are telling you. A Fourier series allows you to express any periodic function as the sum of an infinite number of sinusoids. An example is this square wave. Mr. Fourier says that this function is equal to a constant, one-half, plus an infinite number of sinusoids of this form, minus an infinite number of sinusoids of this form. However, what Mr. Fourier means by equals may not be what you think it means. Let's take a look at what the right-hand side of this equation does as I increase the number of terms in the series. If I include 10 terms in this series, my approximation is the solid blue line on this plot. The original function is the dotted blue line. They look sort of similar, but they aren't really very close for the most part. That's okay, though, because 10 terms really isn't very many. This is what happens when I include 20 terms. The oscillations are getting smaller, and the Fourier series looks a lot more like the original function. Now let's look at using 50 terms. That's getting close, but this pesky difference between the two of the functions here at the edge of the square wave doesn't seem to go away. Let's overlay the three cases to get a feeling for how the solution compares to the actual function as we increase the number of terms. For the most part, especially far away from the edges of the original square wave, out here and out here, the Fourier series gets really close to the original function. However, this maximum difference between the two, close to the edge, doesn't look like it's getting smaller. So let's take a closer look. Zooming in shows us that the maximum difference close to the edge really isn't getting smaller. And it turns out that it won't get smaller as I add more terms either. The error between the two at a discontinuity stubbornly stays at a little over 10% of the change of the value of the function. So what's up with claiming that these two things are equal? The answer is that Mr. Fourier means something different by his equal sign than you might think he means. It's natural to think that he means that the two functions are the same at every point, but that's not true. Fourier's difference between the two functions is actually related to the total area of the difference between the two. So if my function looks like this, and I use just a few terms, I get something that looks like this. The error between those two is this area, roughly speaking, between the actual function and the estimate. If I increase the value of n, I get something that goes to the same height, but it has a lot smaller error. Now this area has gotten a lot smaller without this value changing. As n goes to infinity, Fourier's estimate will follow this exactly up to this discontinuity. There will be a point down here, and then another point up here, and then it'll go back to following it exactly. There is an error right here at the function's edge, but its width is zero, which means that there's no actual area between the two. And, as far as Mr. Fourier is concerned, the functions are equal. So if Fourier series come up in your math class, don't forget to ask your teacher what they mean by equals.